If one of my dogs gets so much as a hangnail, I'm first in line at the vet's office. But I admit I didn't care as much about my own health until I made a spay appointment for my rescued pit bull, Lupa. What male dog doesn't like a good six large breasts? Ten large breasts. I want to come back as a dog. But seriously, the size of Lupa's breasts indicates that she's been through a couple of heats already. The additional benefit of spaying female dogs um, is a, a dramatic decline in the, in the incidence of breast cancer. We find that if we spay a dog by their first heat, there's a 97% reduction in the incidence of breast cancer. If we spay them by their second heat, there's a 75% reduction in the incidence of malignant breast cancer. And by their third heat, a 50%. So you basically have about a year and a half to gain some kind of benefit from spaying a dog by their third heat. A light bulb went on. I'm 43. Who would look after Lupa if I got breast cancer? That's how I became proactive about my own health. Mammography is important because it's the only uh, modality in uh, breast imaging that's been proven to decrease the uh, mortality of breast cancer by as much as 40 percent, and that's a pretty high number. So on the same day Lupa got spayed, I got my first mammogram with help from my dear friend Marisa Acacella Marchetto, New Yorker cartoonist and author. Cancer. I am going to kick your butt. And I'm going to do it in a killer five-inch heel. If you're diagnosed with breast cancer and you catch it early, you have a 98% survival rate. That is the closest thing we have to a cure. So that's why I started the Cancer Vixen Fund here at St. Vincent's Comprehensive Cancer Center and we do the free mammogram program. Julia, I love you like a sister, and right now it's time for you to get your mammogram, so you better get your butt in there and get your boob pressed right now. I wore high-heeled boots in honor of Marisa and her love of high-heeled shoes to my mammogram. <laughs> Just as Marisa lends a hand to at-risk women, Dr. Kaplan lends a paw to at-risk pets. His nonprofit, The Toby Project, provides free spay and neuter procedures to help keep pets healthy and reduce overpopulation. Millions and millions of dogs and cats are dying across country in our shelter system. We know that the only way to solve pet overpopulation is to control the supply. We know that we cannot adopt our way out of it. Uh, we know we cannot kill our way out of it. The only way is by spaying and neutering the very dogs and cats that are contributing to the problem. The Toby Project started because this dog right here, my dog Toby. So I adopted him literally hours before he was to be put to sleep. I met him at the uh, city shelter. He is one of those once-in-a-lifetime kind of dogs. 